Hello guys, Shane here, Wheeling Cameras, and today I'm with Sam from Sony, and we're at King John's Castle. So Sam, what are we going to be looking at today? Well, we've got some great lenses to try out, and we've got a variety of shooting situations here, from landscapes to portraits. I've noticed some interesting characters knocking about. Yeah, we've got a couple of animators here, so they are living history characters who reenact some of the stories from the ancient times. We're excited to see how that will turn out on video and, uh, and with the photos, so cool. Yeah, and we've also got two exciting products to try and win. We have the A7 Mark III, which is one of our latest cameras and really shows off what we're capable of doing in full frame. And also for a smaller compact we can easily whip out and take some shots with, I've got an RX100 Mark VI to try out as well. Nice one, excellent. Really looking forward to seeing those. So let's head to the top of the tower. We've caught one of the uh, turrets on the towers and it provides some incredible views of the surrounding areas. I'm going to be shooting with an A7 Mark III which was our full frame cameras and I've attached to the front of it a 28mm f2 lens. It's a really small compact lens which means climbing up the stairs here is, is not that difficult with it but it does mean I'll be able to shoot nice wide angle shots even in low light although as you can see today the weather's great. I've also got with me a 100 to 400 mm lens, which is great for wildlife and sports. And I can use it to pick out maybe birds on the river out there, or even I've spotted a guy out there and I think he might be a photographer. I'm going to use the 100 to 400 to take a closer look. Yep, there he is. He's actually composing a shot of the castle. Alright, so I am working with this RX100 Mark VI. It's the new one that's just come out. And first thing you notice is just how small it is, but it's also extremely light. It's the kind of camera that you can put in your back pocket and take with you on a day like today. So this camera is an 8.3 times optical zoom. I'm going to show you guys this here. So here's me at the very top of the tower, nice and wide. And I'm going to zoom all the way in. Perfect shot of the Clayton right there. Absolutely stunning. Now the other thing that this camera can do is frame rates of up to a thousand. Yes, a thousand. Now it isn't full HD at a thousand, it'll slowly, slowly go down. But for the average consumer, for the average uh, person playing around with a little bit of video, that's more than enough. Uh, so we're gonna try that and try and grab some extremely slow-mo. So let's give it a try. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a shot with this camera on that slow-mo setting of this guy doing some archery. So you make sure to shoot the target and not me, okay? Okay, sir. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. Let's go. What I've done there to get that video is I had him fire the arrow and then I hit the record button. Now I was able to do that because of the stacked CMOS sensor. So it's constantly recording and buffering. And then when I hit record, it takes that image and puts it together into a super slow-mo video. So a really handy trick if you're doing this kind of thing where you're really relying on that precise moment. So thanks very much, Mr. Archer man. No problem. Pleasure working with you. And he didn't even get me in the eye. So we want to shoot some portrait shots now and we've got the 85mm f1.8 Sony lens. It's going to let me take really natural candid photos, although in this case we've got a slightly more interesting subject. Let's see how it performs when we're shooting in situ here in the shed. Despite the bright conditions, because we're using a full frame sensor, there's a huge amount of dynamic range from this camera. It means I don't lose the highlights in the background whilst retaining the detail in the foreground of the subject's face. I've quickly switched to the 50mm f1.8. It's small, it's compact, it's affordable, and it's more wide angle, so it allows me to tell more of the story.
All right, well that's us finished, done and dusted here in the castle. Um, I had a great time. <laughs> I'm really, really impressed by this little thing. How was it for you? Oh, I really enjoyed myself. And there's such a variety of things to see and do here. And the great thing about the Sony cameras is because they've got Wi-Fi and NFC built into them, I'm already transferring my pictures to my mobile phone to either do a quick edit or to share on social media. Really handy. Nice one, absolutely excellent. I've got to say, I am so impressed by what this thing can do. That slow-mo video is just totally different from what anything else I've seen in something this kind of a size. And the zoom, it got all the way out to that hotel right there in the distance. It, that's better than some of the lenses I have on my professional cameras, so pretty impressed. Yeah, you do get a huge amount of very compact form. And it's the same with the A7, despite the fact we've done a hell of a lot of stairs today going up and down the towers. At no point has this camera felt heavy or cumbersome. It's been really easy to cart the kid around and get hopefully some great shots. Well, I think we definitely did. Thanks very much, Sam. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Ooh.